Welcome back to my morning report chart analysis and videos on Thursday 10th of January with me with Japan Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Let's look at Cable which had that run higher yesterday but didn't actually quite manage to break out and the Euro dollar did break out above its equivalent resistance but Cable could not make the move. 28.15 is the resistance that Cable needs to break through which was the uh, well last day of the year 2018 that's when it hit that high and then fell away. If it can break out through that, I, see, I suppose that sort of constitutes some sort of a range breakout or a base, I suppose you could argue, but hasn't managed to do that quite yet. 28 figures seem to be a basis where the market fell over and has done in the last couple of sessions, really. Uh, three sessions, actually, if you count today as well. So I think that, um, yeah, I think this is, uh, this is sort of tempting uh, the bulls, but not quite managed to make the breakout. Um, there is a, a Fairly positive look to the momentum indicators actually on the recovery angle of it. Um, the fact that the MACD lines are rising, stochastics are in strong configuration, RSI above 50, but not yet in bull configuration. As I mentioned earlier on the RSI, um, on the uh, on euro dollar, that it was above 60, while well, we're sort of seeing in the mid 50s on, on cable. So that again reflects the fact that cable's momentum is not as strong as euro dollar's momentum is. And uh, there is the, the added c complexity that Brexit brings to this uh, cable chart. Obviously, the political uncertainty continues and that subsequently um, cable is sort of hamstrung to an extent by that, or certainly sterling is. But um, it's sort of more of a dollar move than a sterling move, I think, in, in, uh, in uh, cable hire. And we haven't quite yet seen that breakout on cable because of the uh, hamstring effect that uh, Brexit is having. Now on the hourly chart you can see the market just rolling over a touch again, not really managing to sort of see the RSI and the hourly moving into strong configuration. Again, the, the uh, hourly MACD line is not all that strong either. So there's a mild positive bias rather than a decisive strength uh, move that we're seeing. So a close above 28.15 would certainly improve the outlook, but then you sort of come into the realms of all this resistance, 28.50 towards 29.20 this old pivot so there is still much that the bulls need to do on cable to, to have any real traction to the upside and for now it doesn't look as though that's going to be the case about 20 odd pips down today so I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.